Good evening everyone, we are in Düsseldorf and we're here for one evening and a half tomorrow's morning so we've got three things to visit, the first one being straight away Rhine Tower, of course, what else would you expect from me? Then there's a cool housing complex and a sky train, so that's all for tomorrow, so first up, let's go up! To give you a bit of context, this was filmed on the last day of summer holiday of 2020 that we spent with family in Poland and on our 20 hour drive back to London, I decided Düsseldorf was a good stopover to have to split the journey in half. Not to mention I have wanted to visit these three things in Düsseldorf for a while now, hence this was the perfect opportunity to do so. I have absolutely no idea how we were allowed to this rather posh restaurant. Somehow, yes. Because you only want to take photos and let us eat. But as it wasn't that busy, we got a table by the window. Uh, gonna have some sushi and a dessert. And the view here at somewhat blue hour, but it's quite cloudy, is absolutely phenomenal. The restaurant is on a 360 degree rotating platform, so you never get bored of looking at a view as it keeps changing and doing a full circle every hour. We ordered some sushi and chicken skewers to share. They were delicious, even though the price was a bit expensive, it is a price you expect to pay at a unique location like this. It was getting late, but I did want to capture one rotating time-lapse from the table as the platform was moving. And here's what happens. See the skipped frames? Well, that wasn't a desirable effect. Even though they kind of match the beat, it is something I messed up by not turning the autofocus off. A cheesecake. It's good, but this white stuff tastes like flour. This is my tiramisu. It yeah. was pretty cool. Yeah. Now let's go to the viewing gallery that's apparently like one floor, three floors down. Um, and because you are a customer of this restaurant, you are allowed to go downstairs to the viewing gallery for free as far as I know. But that's because we spent more than you would were to pay to access the viewing gallery in here. So yeah, I think that makes sense. That's why we went here. Let's go to the viewing gallery. two levels down this is the public viewing gallery that you can pay to visit and you can all the drinks here as well and it's quite a cool light in here and the view is pretty much the same as it is from the restaurant I'm gonna walk around and uh, show you a couple of photos couple of views that you can get from here And here's a couple of photos I captured from the viewing platform. There's quite a lot of lights inside that are trying to leak into your images, so I definitely recommend using a lens skirt over there. Knowing that I messed up the last time lapse, as I did check it straight away and saw what happened, I needed to get at least one good time lapse. Wouldn't want to leave this location without getting one. And here's what I captured: I shot at 14 mil wide angle, traffic moving across the bridge, and it came out quite nice. I do like it. This was fun. 
time to head back to the hotel and get some rest because tomorrow we've got half a day of exploring this hill though. And good morning, we are just catching the train to the airport where the sky train is. This is why I'm recording things on the camera because I can't see nothing with my glasses. But gotta wear a mask. Kids enjoying the um, window view. And we are at the airport. I can already see the sky train. How exciting! This is it. We can see the sky train. It's much modern than the one in uh, Wuppertal. But the idea is that we go to the front carriage Oh, we don't go at all. What's the point? So yeah, front carriage queue. Here we go. there's four stops the whole journey takes about five minutes all four stops so we might do it a couple of times we're gonna get a time lapse done uh, the other way too and then if time suffices maybe we'll do it again because I kind of didn't mount it at the start before I put the filter on and figured out how to put the gorilla pod on the sort of a support railing but now I can get it done in much faster time so the second time that's going that way should be cooler but what a cool experience this is isn't it isn't it one thing that i think i missed is i should have stayed going back to the train station looking backwards because i would have been going through that sort of tunnel thingy that did look insanely cool backwards worked out pretty cool uh, I figured out that 311 shots didn't get me all the way to the end so I'm probably gonna try just one more time to get the full end-to-end -end journey from here to the uh, train station and the experience is pretty cool and uh, considering that this is included in the Düsseldorf uh, tourism day pass for 19 euros that gets you to travel all around Düsseldorf as well as go on to this sky train it's a must visit experience. So yeah, we're gonna do it just one more time when I'm gonna do a couple of video clips along the journey and a full time lapse this time and hopefully it works out. Now we're heading to the city center. That's the end of our journey. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Caught a train. <laughs> the other one was getting late, so we had to move platforms. Last minute, but at least we're on a double decker train. <laughs> We are at uh, Düsseldorf Hauptbahnhof and now we have to catch a tram to the Rhine Tower where we will either go on the Rhine Tower or just visit the housing complex nearby. This is 
pretty cool. I guess you could kind of make a time lapse, but you'd have the driver in front of us. You can see going forward through these see-through windows. back right underneath the Rhine Tower and today I don't want to go to the restaurant to the top because there's no point probably the restaurant is still closed this early in the morning it's half past 11 so we're just gonna go to the viewing platform and with the Dieseldorf tourism pass we have 50 or 45 percent discount so for the three of us it should work out something like 15 euro uh, and this is not sponsored by the Dieseldorf tourism board but I just figured out that getting that pass kind of saves you money, so yeah, why not? Hope it's open. It looks very closed and there's literally no one here. Um, somehow I didn't check that. The tower actually opens at two, according to Google, and that's why the door was closed. But outside it, it said that the bar opens between 10 in the morning. Bit confusing. So um, yeah, let's go and check out the housing complex. So I'm quite glad that we did uh, take the decision to go and visit it yesterday because otherwise today we just would not visit it because at two we have to get out of the hotel and drive back. And here we are, ticking off the third item on our list of places we wanted to visit in Düsseldorf. The famous buildings, all three actually, by Frank Gehry, the uh, famous architect that does quite a lot of cool buildings all around the world. And for a long, long time, I wanted to visit this place and we're finally here. But I wanted to see them with slightly better clouds, so this isn't quite working out. Let's get closer to see what we can get. Buildings like this are literally different to anything else you see around the world and that's why they just draw people in because projects like this get allowed even that's what makes it so spectacular because in so many places around the world you just don't get permission to build things that don't look like the rest of the city and I think if there is a balance between an area that's funky trendy and things look different and attract tourism that's cool day ever really for taking any architectural photography um, but yeah when you're somewhere for one day just make the most of it the colorful building seems to be the inside hotel if the whole building is a hotel I reckon if you get a top floor uh, in this building the view towards the Rhine Tower and the rest of Düsseldorf must be absolutely amazing there might be actually a view from the 16th floor in this cool, colorful inside hotel. Uh, I don't know if it's open, but they say they do breakfast, so let's check it out. How unlucky are we? It's closed. The breakfast is open at 10 o'clock, and then it reopens at two o'clock, like the Rhine Tower. And by two o'clock, we had to leave our hotel and drive to the Channel Tunnel. I must say, that's a rather funky building. Maybe it's actually the European headquarters. Okay, Düsseldorf, you've got some cool architecture worth visiting on its own. And this bridge, whatever it's called, is actually a cool point to take a photo of the Rhine Tower as well as the Gary buildings over there. 
most likely it's an Instagram hotspot in better weather. But today, yeah, it looks just okay. And now we reach this funky shaped egg architectural thingy art sculpture. We've got absolutely no idea what it is. Looks like a lounge thing that is actually closed. This place is a phenomenal viewpoint for a time lapse that I can't do because I haven't got the time off Düsseldorf. A day to night here would be amazing. And I think on this note, we're now going to be heading back to the hotel to drive back to England. Thanks a lot guys for watching. My name is Michael, London Viewpoints on Instagram. Hopefully you enjoyed this video of uh, visiting Dieseldorf, showing the best view in Dieseldorf, some architecture and a cool Skytrain Hyperlapse ride. And if you want to see more things like this, subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment and I'll see you guys later.